Okay, my replacement June came in today, and Mark is starting to get this unboxed. You have to cut the sides down. This thing is very big. I mean, you can see it takes up almost my whole island. Um, I'll be telling you more about this here in just a minute. I'll let Mark get this actually out of the box. I know you guys see me talk about my June, and this is what the back side looks like. And he's probably going to go ahead and lift that up here. There's styrofoam everywhere, of course. And let me, um, oof, let me bring it back when he's got more of the styrofoam off. So anyways, this is the June. Thanks, Mark. Um, it looks the same exact as my other one. It's a, it's a Generation 3. And what that does is this actually belongs, saw the nice styrofoam, um, is actually in this area right here. Uh, when we redid the kitchen, we actually had this area, which most people would have like um, a stove in the wall or whatever. This is actually, um, I meant that for just the, um, the toaster ovens that I have. So Mark will go ahead and get that plugged in and I'll show you the rest. All right, and this is what it comes with. It comes with the, the tray to put the food on. And then it's got the roasting tray. I still got to clean my kitchen when we're all done here. And then there is the really nice um, uh, nonstick trays I've done cookies with that work very well. Then down here, and Mark's looking at how to um, put this on the internet because this is actually well, I'm programming it right internet based. Now. And then this is stainless steel. The one thing I do like about the June is the inside is stainless. And you know how I feel about the nonstick stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause real quick and I'll have Mark step aside a little bit and you can see what he's doing. Okay, so he's getting like what is it? The, hooking the internet up. Right the, oh, hooking the internet up real quick. And um, I can't see anything except his back. <laughs> so what happens is there's actually a camera up above on this. And um, it makes it really nice like when you're like in the other room and you want to see how your food is cooking. It makes it really, really nice. Now what I do obviously is I um, wash off all these uh, containers and the stainless steel and all that stuff. Is that all right? No, oh, it's thinking. It's, it's updating. It's updating. So, um, one thing about this is um, I, I didn't really know what quite to think. Um, at first, I had a really super bad taste in my mouth about the June because my warranty had just went out of warranty November 11th. And we turned this on, was it last week? Yep, last so week. Last week. And what happens is like this with any other ovens can you kind of like open up that door so you can kind of i don't know if you can see the things that's actually in the there's light bulbs when well, not light bulbs heating elements in these metal things that mark is pointing out okay that back one had actually went out and like any of the other um toaster ovens i've had this is something that um once those lights go out you just can't get a replacement bulb now when i had bought this oven I think it was on sale. I don't think I paid the full um, $9.99 for it or whatever it was going for at that time because it's, it's been a couple years. But they wanted to have me replace this with actually having paying $499 for a new stove or new June. And I talked to them and I kind of like made a little bit um, <laughs> of some threats. And um, and anyway, so they wrote me back, and they did let me actually get this for $199. Now, June is a very good oven. This has been very good. It browns very nicely. It air fries very nicely. It is a very good oven. What I thought at first was going to be cut horrible customer service. Oh, he says try again on there. Um, what I thought was going to be horrible customer service turned out to not be horrible customer service. Um, I know, like... As far as um, I know, I've dealt with um, KitchenAid and um, Ninja and Vitamix, and all of their all their customer service has been absolutely wonderful. 
I don't know what Mark's doing over there, so I can't see. I have to redo it. I think it only works on 2.4. Oh, it only gigabits. works on the 2.4 gig, not the 5 gig that we have at the house. So anyways, um, I thought they were going to, you know, kind of really rape me over the coals trying to get the new oven. And I really didn't have the money for the one I wanted to get. There's a bigger one, kind of like how the combi is, where um, you can actually, it's a steam oven. But that again is like six, seven hundred dollars if it's not on sale. And I wanted to try to, okay, that's trying to go again. It's downloading now. I wanted to um, go ahead and show you, um, you know, the customer, the pe people do care. Now what's going to happen is once I actually clean up the shelf here, the, like the shelf right there and the um, stuff, I will be actually um, running that for like 20 minutes you know I'll burn it off you know I'll wipe the inside out and I'll burn off any of the oils or anything that was done during transportation and then I'll show you and then what Mark can show you is we could just put something on there and he could pull up his phone because it will show like whatever we happen to throw on there um, it shows what's cooking so I will bring you back once we get that started and show you the next steps okay because the oven is cold and I do want to preheat it um, you know, to, to burn off the stuff for about like 20 minutes. But because it's cold, I'm going to go ahead and have Mark put this out of proof where it's only going to be about 85 degrees. If you want to go ahead and do that, honey. He's move this over to the proof button here. And then what happens is it shows 85 degrees. And this is what you would proof your yogurt or your uh, bread or whatever have you. So I'm going to let that go probably for probably a good 10 minutes well, five minutes at least, warming up everything in the oven. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn it on on a higher thing and, and burn off anything, you know, any oils or residues or anything. And we'll just show you on a quick something how well that actually works and um, show you what it's about. Now, I don't think June is actually selling these right now, um, but I know a lot of people ask what is a June when, when I say my June and they don't really see it a, a lot on the videos. They just hear about it. Um, but what that does is it actually is, um, I think they got bought by Weber Grills or something, and I think they're probably just in the transaction of um, not selling the June as of right now. But this is a very, very good oven. I have been incredibly happy with it. It pretty much doesn't cause me any problems. It is internet-based. Um, I don't know for sure if you can make it not internet-based, I don't think. I'm not sure. We don't know. I don't know. We've always had ours hooked up to the internet, so that's fine. Um, and then Mark, when he's working sometimes, he's like, what you cooking? And he looks and he goes, oh, I see what you're cooking, you know, because he can see from the camera. So it's, it's, it's kind of fun to be able to see uh, what is actually being cooked. And especially like if you're like out when you're, you're uh, cooking something and you have the remote feature on your phone, you can actually, if you think it's done enough, you can actually shut this off or put it on warm or whatever. So that makes it really nice. Now this does actually have a lot of different features. Um, let me see. It's got um, bake, roast, toast, broil, slow cook, air fry, dehydrate, reheat, proof, and keep warm. Um, so like I said, this has been a very good oven so far and I am a lot more impressed with the customer service that I started off being when they um, wanted me to pretty much pay for half price for the oven, which I was not going to do. But um, like I said, it's just, it, those heating elements are going to be the same on every single, I don't know if you're sure if you can see it, but those heating elements just right there are the same. It doesn't matter. I've had a Breville. I've had a... Um, uh, a ninja oven and it works the same way if those um, heating elements go the oven is pretty much trash so keep that in mind when you are buying um, a countertop oven that you know you want to see for sure if those can maybe be replaced most of them that I know of the groups that I belong to say no so I'm gonna let this run for a few more minutes I'm gonna run it on hotter and then I'm gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll cook up something really fast Okay, we're going to go ahead and have Mark put in two pieces of toast. I did the burn off. And you'll see this, and then he'll pull up his phone here. See how it says it says white bread and it says, it says wheat, wheat, bread, wheat bread. bread? That's actually wheat bread. And all you do is hit continue, and that's telling you. It tells you right now it's medium two slices. And just start and toasting. 
Now, if Mark <clears throat> can show you, if you got your phone on you? Cool. He's going to go grab his phone real quick. And what it's gonna, I'm going to do is show you what the camera is showing while this is toasting. And then, you know, we'll obviously just put butter on that and we'll just go ahead and eat that. But there's that. that. And then that's what you would see. Now, if you want to see a live video, that's kind of cool. So you can okay, bring it, just bring it a little bit closer. Just a little bit more over this way. No, this way. Okay, that's good, right in the middle. Okay, so that's what you're going to be seeing is like if you're out and about and you're cooking something, you can see what's actually being cooked and you can stop it and you can look what how it looks before you stop it. So um, this will go on for like the two minutes and I will go ahead and pull that out and show you what that looks like when it's done. All right, I don't know for sure if you can see how dark that has already gotten. <laughs> that is wheat toast, though. But that is wheat. Um, but Mark's going to go ahead and pull them out. We have a... Oof, that's that's way you can do those. Both will be yours. Oh, yeah, boy. Can you uh, let me just take the knife here, then? This is what the backside looks like. And Mark likes his toast definitely toaster ears than that. That's what it looks like. Like that. Throw a little bit of butter on there. Now that, that setting can be adjusted, so if you're watching it and it seems like it's done before the time is up, you can stop it and the oven will ask if you want to save that setting. So next time that you use it, it'll use the correct setting. But the thing is, I mean, our other one was a little bit older, obviously. Um, you know, the newer stuff works obviously a lot better. And uh, so, anyways, this is the toast. And thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.